Thank you. 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 This year will undoubtedly bring great ambition and restlessness. After lifting the ban on Canadian Boeing beef access to the Taiwan market earlier this month, <laughs> and the completion of an avoidance of double taxation agreement on the horizon, I believe strongly that we will continue to strive toward great success by reinvigorating our relationship with confidence, vision, determination, and more important, action, okay, to, in order to bring forward our cooperation to a new level. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for being so supportive of me since I arrived a year and a half ago. I'm so glad we have been able to achieve so much within such a short period of time, all due to your patience, understanding, and cooperation. In prospect of future, I know we can continue to count on your support, not only in areas of our bilateral relations, but also in our bid to accede to the Trans-Pacific Partnership, TPP. Tonight, in keeping with the Chinese tradition, we are preparing you a small gift from President Ma, which you have just received from the legendary God of Wealth. <laughs> I hope it will bring good luck to you and your family all year round. We are also preparing you with a particularly culturally symbolic gift. That is a small pot of orchid, which we obtained from an orchid nursery owned and operated by a Taiwanese investor in Toronto. The orchid has been traditionally an important part of Chinese culture, permeating Chinese history, legends, literature, and art. The colorful and fragrant orchid has been especially appreciated as a symbol of nobility, humility, and <coughs> refinement. Notably, orchid cultivation is very popular and commercially successful worldwide. Taiwan is particularly competitive in this industry. Currently, plant variety rice protection is an issue pending a solution between our two countries. We do hope that in due respect of Taiwan's status as a WTO member, 2014 will see positive legislative change in Canada to enable the protection of Taiwanese plant breeders' rights in this great country, which I'm confident will inevitably pave the way for more investment from Taiwan and advancement of the commercial potential of the Canadian orchid industry. Dr. Liu, I would like to thank you and through you, your government, for the progress on many issues that you have enumerated tonight. You will recall that four years ago, we happily announced a visa exemption for Taiwanese citizens coming to Canada. And we made that decision on its own merits, but I must admit, with a certain hope, a certain expectation perhaps, that we would see similarly friendly uh, decisions from Taiwan. And we Canadians are patient people. Sometimes very patient. But it takes a man of action to get things done, and Dr. Liu, with the recent conclusion of an agreement to allow the best beef in the world to be sold in Taiwan, we thank you very much. It's important in any bilateral relationship to have momentum, momentum on both sides, and that's what you have done by re-energizing the relationship most auspiciously in this, the beginning of the year of the horse. And colleagues, you should know that the president of Taiwan, the democratically elected president of Taiwan. That cannot be said for every country in Asia. 
The president of Taiwan uh, is President Ma, which means president of horse. So this is the year of the horse, the year of President Ma, a year of energy, drive, enthusiasm, and speed, which we hope will characterize Canada's economy and Canada's relationship with Taiwan over the next year. If I have one message for people uh, when I meet them uh, socially, it is, why don't you consider Taiwan as a visitor destination? It is a great, great country to visit. My tie with Taiwan uh, was dated way, way back when I was still uh, a professor in my own writing. And then, you know, at that time was the director of international students, and we had a lot of student exchange. And of course, I was also the leader in uh, promoting Canadian education in Taiwan, and very successfully. And so I was so happy that I was able to go on my own in 09, and I personally witnessed how carefully the Taiwanese government had their passports done and to protect uh, forgery. So I reported back to my Minister of uh, Citizenship at that time, who is, of course, uh, Minister Kenny, that you know, it is really one of the safest places where you can you know, trust that their passports are very, very secure. Another reason that we can really be happy and proud tonight is the progress, incredible progress in the last few years. And we think of the, the waiving of the Taiwan visa. That was a really big step forward. And it's ushered in people who've come to visit our shores, to study here, and the friendships have only grown. And so that's led to progress on the commercial agreements that you've talked about, the tax agreement, an investment agreement, and a trade agreement. More and more uh, airlines are landing here from Taiwan, and we're looking at a, a doubling of the number of landings sometime in the next few months. That's big progress. Thank you very much to everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.